We're uploading a two-party system The lesser of two dangers, illusion of choice We download a veiled form of fascism Nothing really ever changed You never had a voice A liberal arts education involves hearing disparate views so that we're not locked into a box. In my group, we discussed gay marriage, and we discussed um, a scenario where we have somebody who is um, unconscious, has had a stroke, and he, we have two men. One of them is in a heterosexual marriage. One of them has been in a gay par partnership. And we discussed whether um, or not the current laws would allow the, his wife to make decisions for him in the heterosexual marriage and the um, partner would let him make decisions in the partnership. So we discussed legal factors related to um, gay partnerships and we also discussed um, other factors related to um, gay marriage. At first we talked about the pros and cons of marriage as a whole and then they asked for our opinion on what we thought about gay marriage and my opinion personally is whatever makes you happy I don't discriminate about if you like it the same sex or not. The defenseless child. When we watch the news and we hear about a child abducted who's three or four or five everyone is concerned because they're young they can't be protected and our hearts go out to them. In fact, it's such a popular thing, television programs are built on that sentiment. And I'd say it's just. There are 22 million missing and exploited children around the world who are abducted and are taken advantage of by predators. My point was this. If we care about the, the, the condition of the young girl or, or lad who is taken advantage of, and they're defenseless, and we want to rescue them, how much more so defenseless is the unborn who can't run away from a predator, who can't make a call, who has no one to depend upon except the mother and the family. Wait until the full term of the birth and let the child be adopted. Um, during this um, politics party, I went to like uh, the table of the philosopher. When there, we talked about the right of abortion and pro-life. And just from the whole program, and not only that table, it made me um, realize both sides of the spectrum. In course, there's no like feeling what's right, ethical, moral. A lot of that goes into politics and not just economy. And I was glad I went. Um, so uh, the first round, we started talking about the Affordable Health Care Act. And uh, at the back end of that, we start talking about the cost of education, um, and which was my two things was education and um, health care. So what I found in the first group is that the education discussion was more um, fruitful. What position uh, should you take uh, with respect to how you're going to pay for this education? If a country has a good educational background, is it benefits the comp the country because it has more of the country's citizens are not just off of a job but they are off of a career. It it got a lot of college students to open their minds about the political process, on uh, which side do they affiliate with? Some were with conservatives, some were with um, Democrats, some were just not neither on either side of the fence. But what I took from it was just having an open mindset and thinking critically of what goes on in our country and in the economy. So I came with a lot I came with a lot of ideas myself. It didn't really change my views uh, per se, but it caused me it inspired me to to dig deeper into what really goes on in the political system.